his uh, specific uh, skills are much more in need now. Mm -hmm. um, Faiza ends up joining the, the Free Isle, uh, continuing as a smuggler, and nice. is successful uh, in that. Um, I, I'll make, I, I would definitely like buy a drink and tell her what happened. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. You definitely share a drink in uh, in Grey Harbor and and offer a toast to Tara. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I would I would go on to write fucking songs about Tara for damn sure. Like <laughs> she would be one of the most yep. famous, infamous, legendary pirates ever to. <laughs> Fucking sail the seas. Most famous as the hobbits, and that's saying a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and then I'll, you know, a bunch of the, a bunch of the songs will be kind of like ominous and stuff too about if you go out into the sea and the storm, you know, starts to follow you. Be careful because you pissed her off in some way. Yeah. <laughs> when, um, when the storm goes west, do we want to go see if we can get another, another ship full of gold? At some point. Oh yeah, that's what. Yeah, yes. The um, uh, second expedition. Yep. Yeah. I, uh, I I eventually um, I would give Black Mane his sword back and uh, basically duel the shit out of him all the time. He would become like a Main. a rival. <laughs> I, I I also wanted to ask Black Mane what he wanted to do with the bark. Mm -hmm. He was going to use it to. Uh, Become powerful. Become powerful. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't feel too bad about it. It's not like he was gonna bring back a lock. No, it was entirely selfish. Yeah. Really. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Surprise! Surprise! Yep. <laughs> ah, selfish power. I can respect that. Yep. But at the same okay, time. Okay, but the question on everybody's lips. What happened to Blackheart Kate? I was upset she wasn't in the finale. Yeah. <laughs> How would she be there? I don't know. Why would she be there? Cause... I feel like like we we never killed each other. We never slept with each other. I'm so confused about Ooh, our the relationship. Balls. She'll go. I she'll mean, be she realized ship she realized that you. Tara could have killed her in that final battle. Yeah. And um, probably took a pretty big hit to to her her confidence in that she didn't care if she died, but. Knowing that someone could have killed her and didn't is... Yeah, it stings. Um, I mean, she continues on doing her thing. As she does. Uh, Omari and the crew, they, I mean, they break up and... Who breaks it's, up? It's a, a, a sea of pirates now, so... Mm -hmm. Plenty of work. Yeah, I, I I'd work with Black Man for a little while. Like he'd work with me. I'm oh, he's working. a he's a snake of a man. Right, and I wanna and I wanna basically just give him so much shit. And like when he tries to when he tries to act up, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put it down. And then eventually, all right, this this has been fun, but yeah, you're not changing, and this is too much work. <laughs> basically, he'll just perpetually be looking for. T opportunities to backstab you. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Like he might eventually get a heavy weapon. Yeah. So, well, I mean, he can cast smite. So. Oh. Uh, I don't think he could one shot me. So after probably he, not. After he does two wounds to me, I'm like, okay, and I just fucking smash his ass and send him packing. So that's what it would take. Yeah. It would take either him killing some of my crew, like friends. Or a two wound shot to me before I part ways. <laughs> so that would take um, a few years or something, maybe months. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. So, uh, full midge, of course. Oh, midge. Ro Robin, you see her many times uh, in the future. Um, she's very proud of you. Nice. Um, in fact, she she offers you a. Um, after a little while, she offers you a, a way forward if you seek to put aside your um, calamitous ways. Um, in the uh, 
the eyes of the her her patron, uh, the knowing mother, which is like a, a crone, a uh, spinner of knowledge and uh, fate and such. Um, is this like a one-time th offer, or is this like a standing offer? Uh, standing offer. All right, I'm having I'm having a little bit of fun sowing chaos. <laughs> so chaos. So chaos a little bit. Yeah, I'll come. Like eventually, I'll get sick of it. Yeah. All night long. Um, All night long. And then, uh, last night. but certainly not least, uh, Safur, the thief. Of course, I told you I would tell you what happened All to him at the end of the campaign. Night. Uh, he did not die in Almahir. No, he had a message to give you that was baked inside of the bread that he left. Oh! Uh, I don't know why you didn't open the bread. Didn't we eat it? <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, we just left it there. You oh. just left it there. I was like, was oh, gross this bread, is nice right? bread. It was like super stale. No, it wasn't stale. That was the hint. Oh! oh. It was fresh. Fuck. He's too smart um, for us. So, yeah, yeah, so he, his note was that he was going to Varkalish and he'd meet you there, um, and he'd look for your ship, but you never sailed into Varkalish, so he never found you in Varkalish. Uh, so he just kind of kept on doing his thing. Uh, during the downfall of civilization, he made it up pretty good, just, like, pillaging rich people's houses there. Nice. Well, I'm happy for him. <laughs> How, uh, and I know this is way off topic, but how I eventually, after becoming super rich and whatnot, I would want to go back home for one last time to see what the hell, like, 15 years later, 20 years later, and see if dad's alive and talk to, talk to the sister. Oh, well, who knows, who even knows what would happen 15 years from now? Alright, yeah, Maybe so, time that's what I'm saying, like, I, I, you know, Dibs, Mr. Dibs will, or er, Bartholomew Dibbenshire will make a return home. <laughs> so as we return to Hollowmore to go help uh, that one uh, magician girl, yep. how's, how's Hollowmore looking now that um, presumably its, it's puppet master is dead? Pretty much the same as they were before. Uh, the, uh, the clergy has, um, after it, it becomes apparent that, uh, Cardinal, uh, Thoreau is, is not returning, they renounce his views as, um, uh, oh, what's the word for it? Ap apocryphal. Um, and they excommunicate him from the church and act like they didn't back him at all, basically. As as they tend to do when things don't work out. And they continue on doing their thing. Um, and then I think the last thing I wanted is if Dio is... Is Dio, is Dio gonna return to Ketris or is he gonna stay in, like, uh... Um... Mark College? He'll probably return to Ketris. Okay. I was just gonna ask for the grinning gesture, but if he's doing that, he probably will. Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> buying a bar for sure. Or opening I just, one. I just want free coffee. Oh. I mean, <laughs> how many of my. Did, we, did I, I retain my. Do you need free time. coffee? <laughs> Why do you need free coffee? That's true. <laughs> It's it's about the status. <laughs> yeah, it's about being able to come in and just get free coffee. <laughs> um, did I get to retain uh, my drink, my booze making song, or is that gone with Luca? Uh, unfortunately, all of Luca's magic is returned to him. Okay. And he becomes whole. Okay. Big blow. That's fine. Yeah. Then then before that, <laughs> I had I spent holy shit some time. It was a deal, uh, deal you made with Luca to... I mean, Luca can probably do that when he's human. Can he? Okay. Yeah. Then, then, I, mean, I, then I made a few myself. Like, it's like a ritual. That, you know, beforehand. Like, just made, he I, developed. I, I made a bunch of barrels of whatnot. Because I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready for my bar. Mm -hmm. Just buy, like, an empty distillery of, like, yep. racks of empty barrels. Yep, and then just fill that up. And then we'll, <laughs> then we'll go on the expedition to get him a new body, and then I'll make, then I'll, you know, hey, so, 
Uh, biomancy, huh? Can you make me, you know, live super long? Because I'm rich and I want to enjoy it for as long as I can. And I don't mean immortal in an instrument. I just mean, you know, like a hundred something. Well, um, as you might have seen from Tara, yep. uh, there are detrimental effects to infusing your body with magic too much. Ah. That can actually shorten your lifespan significantly. Oh. Well, that's why I'm talking I'm to dead. Luca about it. He's a biomancer. Well, you he know, was... there there are things, there are options. Well, that'd be a thing. When I get 60 right, yeah. and the bones start to creak and everything, I'll, I'll come talk to him about it. Does Jeez. Mr. Gibbs restore his relationship with the, the harem owner in Aldehir? Yeah, I was going to try to, for sure. Not the harem owner, the, uh... Mark Hollish. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. I'd go in there, drop a couple bricks. Hopefully <laughs> this uh, makes up for the other, the other week, the other month, the other time. Indeed. Yes. Bricks? And then I owe a knight to some sort of house for the, the Oh yeah, that that was a plot hook that, or like a little fun little thing yep. that never came up because there's a couple opportunities, but I think you were like gone at the beginning of those sessions. So oh, like, okay, sorry. <laughs> it would have been a fun one to do. And I was just like, I'm kind of surprised you remembered, honestly. I just figured I wouldn't mention it and see if anyone remembered. Oh yeah, it's because I, was, I listened to the recordings. I, I remember yeah. a lot of this he, stuff. He owed, he owed a knight to this shady uh, house, or like a shop. It's a, a karite uh, potion seller. Yep. He owed a knight? Yeah, that's like what was one of the, like yeah, for the deal. Like, like, knight of fun. Like, like you need it, like, boinking? I don't know, they were pretty much, I think, gonna use, like, gonna whore me out for the knight, is my understanding. <laughs> I don't know. Basically, like, the, the revelry is, is like, um, exactly as it sounds, like a, a, think like Rip Van Winkle kind of thing, except for without the, like, lasting forever, like, you would just go and, like, party super hard with them for, mm. with, with Faye for, yeah. uh, a night, okay. and they just want, they just want you would be very, very in. tired and hungover in the morning. Ah, okay, gotcha. Okay. That would be awesome. I'm, I'm sad I didn't go. But I'll go now. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. so you can certainly go back. Yeah. I also I want to find a way to get a message to the, the Count of Raging Storms or whatever. Roaring Storms. Roaring Storms. Yeah. Storms. Yep. And a very detailed account of exactly how Tar killed the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just yeah. rub the salt into the wound. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's sexier uh, letter. Yeah. Shit it stirring. Like Jack. Uh, yep. Just gotta stir the pot, don't you? It's good. Out of roaring storms. How about being the fucking roaring storm? Yep. Yep. Wait, uh, is he my vassal now? The shit all over him. Hmm. Raise his taxes. <laughs> oh. No, now he's gonna come and try and kill you. Oh, all the try time. it, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> Although, also, how, it's kind of harder to kill just, like, the storm. Can't really do that. Also... I am amorphous! Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, did, we, we didn't make it, but that's okay. But oh, I, yep. uh, I put it in the Pirates Discord. There is another song I wrote. It, it'd be the one, uh, basically, if we ever got um, what's, uh, stranded at sea. Yeah. But you guys became too powerful, drums. and we could we'll, we would never be stranded at sea after a while. Yep. <laughs> Air manipulation as a ritual kind of kind of acts that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I I uh, super super uh, appreciate one like a listen to that because it was it was a, it was a it's a good one for the campaign. Sure. End it off. Yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this campaign. Yeah. I'm going to be heading out. We're we're doing session zero of Eternal Sun not next Thursday? Yep, next Thursday. Okay. Do you want us to prep anything? or? Um, Just, you know, read the material. Have some ideas, of, you know, a fairly good idea for your character concept-wise. And um, be thinking about which clan you guys want to pick. Are there going to the be main plan. Uh, stat blocks for the demons? 
I will at least have descriptions. Okay. Uh, which will have, like, the important parts. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'm going to head out. Uh, I got here. All right. Okay. That was good all. I'm, I'm, I'm a little sad. Yeah, I am. Uh, Tara was never going to live. No. I think once she got possessed, she cracked a little bit, and there was no going back. She spent too long in that dark area that once she was free, she was like, fuck it, I'm out. Mm-hmm. Fuck. But there's something else I need to do. I just don't know what it is yet. Son so. bitch. Her, if, um... if I'd lived through it, I was going to ritual cast Summon Storm at four levels of empowerment ah. and just boot just... myself out into the atmosphere. Just go. Yep. Yeah, it was uh, a um, sad decline into, like, both both sad and also, like, spectacular in a weird way. <laughs> yeah. Sure. As Tara the person kind of divulged into Tara the force of nature. Hmm. Because the, when she got possessed, she broke, she got insanity, she got a tick from it. Where she couldn't sleep anymore. She spent weeks in that like dream hellscape. Yeah. So. Also, she was no, never. Was... She was never super keen on living before that. No, she never was stable. It just got accelerated. I think. God, that was and in that whole like story arc was totally not planned. That was just a, a number of well. really bad roles that, like, yeah. culminated into something insane. But it was pretty damn cool. Yeah, it was pretty it cool. Out to the end. All right. Well, I'll see you all next yeah. week. Later. Yep. Um, Later. Ben, do you have that? Do you have that? Uh, that that song loaded? Mm-hmm. Would you want to just throw it up? Throw it up where? Oh, oh, on on, on roll twenty, yeah. So I can have it on stream. Sweet. <laughs> yep, it's a shame we didn't get to it. Mr. Dibs. You know, my my plan was the uh Sail? The ocean where there was like literally no wind, but yep. then once we Again, got to that I was like, ah, that's not happening. <laughs> the pacing of the campaign we just are on a boat and it Looks like no one gives a shit mm -mm. We are all real lazy Yeah, huh? Nothing to do at sea Except sit and listen to me We're all gonna go crazy You'll say yo ho ho yo ho, -ho, -ho, -ho. Haven't seen a gust of wind Since at least last weekend mm -mm. If this is how we meet our end It's shitty Yo ho 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 Yo ho ho no We are gonna go crazy Mr. Dibs especially mm -hmm. He saw a fish he wants to marry uh oh that was the best. <laughs> we haven't had a bite in weeks. We're almost out of things to eat. Paul the parrot's looking mighty sweet. Mm -mm. The god parrot. <laughs> We're all completely out of food. We'll probably have to cut some dudes. We'll see. I hope they're not too greasy. Yeah. Hey, yo, you're looking mighty fat. Where are you getting all this food from? Ah, oh, you were that fat when you got on board, huh? Well, looks like uh, meat's back on the menu, boys. Come here, come here, you. Don't try to run, you'll never escape. Get it, come here, get, get him, tie him up. Get that, get that piggy over here. We gotta carve him up and we're gonna eat right tonight. It was the it was one of the newbies anyway. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Just don't worry. 
It's him or us. It's him or us. It's him or us. Either, either we eat him or us die. Yeah. <laughs> that was all improv at the end, so I just I couldn't go anymore. Started laughing. Uh, I couldn't think up any more shit to say. It was pretty good. It mm -hmm. was a good one. That that was that was fun. I was hoping that I was hoping that the, the guys would stick around for it because you know with the it's inside jokes. The yeah, you know, we we were in pretty late. Yeah, we did. I I'm kind of glad that uh, Tara uh, did what she did because uh, combat wasn't going to end otherwise. Right. By uh, by the end of the night. So right. I think it it ended. Well. So. Like I, so I, everybody got to do what they wanted to do. Yeah, I honestly wouldn't have minded uh, having having to do like a, like another like hour wrap up during session zero even, just to kind of like be just just to not be so rushed with this one because this was a big campaign. I like it. It was. That's true. This one was almost as like impactful as space, as uh, as space rogue. That one that one is just is too big. To, to compare to because of what we did and how nice. awesome it like the relationships and everything went this one was mm -hmm. close i like this one a lot so i was i was i was looking at the time and i'm like oh man i'm hoping we do uh you know uh another session of wrap up but that's that's fine i i know we want to get on to the to the next one but this was all these campaigns man they fucking i love mm -hmm. them you tell a great story and i love being a part of it yeah, I'm glad it was good. Fuck yeah. As um, the longest notes that I've had by a long shot, this this campaign is 70 pages of notes Holy at the end. Shit. Compared to like 40, I think, is the runner-up. Awesome. Which happened to be the, the other uh, Shadows of Truth. Corbin? Yep. Nice. Yeah, that was a good one, too. Mm -hmm. So really, Space Road was less work or like less notes? Less notes. I don't know exactly how that translates, like why it is less notes. Yeah, because that one was epic. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure how that brought that back a whole race out. of fucking people. <laughs> I mean, I guess in, in, in maybe just like the style. Yeah. To, but also at, on a universal scale, maybe he didn't do much. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, this was great. I, I fucking I love your stories every time, and I'm super glad to be to be a player in them. Glad to have you as always. Yeah, awesome. Look forward to next week. We figure out what we're doing next. For sure. Oh man. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I, I could I could keep on you know going with this one too yeah, with like the whole uh, the whole fucking like wrap up stuff like you go, you go on for another hour just talking about what you'd want to do and future stuff <laughs> and all that stuff so just talking about stuff yeah but like oh man now that you're all powerful and super rich and can do anything what are you gonna do oh whatever <laughs> <laughs> and then you just come up with shit you'd want to do for an hour. All those things are doing, are being done. And Dibs goes yeah. on to live a good life. Of debauchery and rich. There was... The, uh... Yeah, the shard was destroyed. That was a big one. Yeah. That yeah. was a good decision in terms of... Net positive uh, on the world oh was it because yeah dibs would have yeah. kept it dibs would have kept it as the creation shard but then who knows what would have happened i, I don't know what would have happened i mean that thing is like the thing about the create the creation spark is that everybody wants it that's like it's it's kind of like the one ring in that aspect like yeah it's so powerful that one person like, you would not be able to hold on to it. Someone would steal it from you, someone would try and kill you for it, and, like, eventually they would get it, and then it would change hands, and... Hmm. I has would... the power to do a lot of good, but also a lot of horrible things, too. 
So, metagame, I would bring it to Corvin. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> just, to, just to him and his people. Here, protect this. <laughs> I mean, they would probably get taken. They probably what? It would get eventually get taken. Yeah, right. But, he, but I, yeah, I, I think it would just do, be one of those things, you know. I, I think Corvin and his tribe would do a good job for like a hundred years. And, um... And then it, then it would yeah, actually... If if Robin would have kept the destruction one, that would have uh, there would it, it would be like a bloody violent crusade of Karaites just like slaughtering Damn. vengeance through the Damn. cursed sea with Robin as their the perhaps helm. unwilling prophet of destruction. Oh wow! Damn. Because that's... that's just the kind of energy that would gather around. That is super. She epic. would never have a peaceful day. Fuck. So yeah, it was a good idea that she. Yeah, net net it. gain. That's uh. Yeah. So if we ever come back to this campaign, going... or not this campaign, this world setting, does is this going to affect stuff, like what happened? Who the, is what going to? Ah, uh, the shard being like. Just like, uh, basically that uh, this this section of the world is in turmoil. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so like yeah, if we are in the east, or there's the north. a lot of changes to the cool. global geopolitical situation. <laughs> I'm still upset. Oh, I'm, upset. I'm bummed I never got a Corvin gun. Yeah, that never happened. I made I put in a couple. Maybe orders. next campaign we play. I put in a couple orders, but then I never made it. Yeah, I never looped back around. No. I got my Assassin's Blade. I'm super happy I got to use that. Oh, yeah, you fucking murdered a guy. Yeah. I got that on a big highlight, like the, the deadly pillow fight. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> out of, out of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours, like, the one thing I clipped was, or one of, one or two things I've clipped is, is me stabbing that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just because... I like to use the, the, the goofy shit I make. Pretty good. Corvin knuckles, I think, were my favorite thing. Yeah, those were <laughs> those are good. You killed a god with those. Fuck yeah. Don't well, steal the god. Yeah, but... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fuck yeah. What? The javelin was fun. Super. I mean, I didn't make that, but using it, utilizing it. I never got to use my shotgun uh, pulleys. Oh, yeah. I was setting them up for... But no one ever boarded our ship again, really. Oh, yeah. It's, you guys are too effective at that point, right? That's, that's what it really was. It was just because... It was for boards. Because other methods. There's a lot of instances where you could have used the ship for something, but you didn't just because... Mm -hmm. As a trio, you were quite dangerous and you didn't want to risk the lives of your crew yep yep i mean oh how that how would that go down like uh i would also like could i basically make us the most famous pirates ever to live but with your i mean yeah stuff? you guys are pretty much the most famous pirates sweet around here yeah but i mean i mean like for tech to come forever i mean as long as there is a legend yeah as long as there are songs or... sung in bars, I want at least one of yeah, them like to be the black honest. beard of this yep. this world. Yeah, absolutely. And I you did some pretty great. You literally sunk an entire navy in the midst of a storm, and nobody really knows how. <laughs> yeah. Only that there was some kind of beast, yes. and you guys were involved. Oh yeah, Keto. Oh, can yeah. I try and f track her down? Talk uh, to her again. Yeah, I mean, you could. Because I, t I did say. If you will. I did say something about making another deal with her later on, and she said maybe. Yeah. You know, like, you know, because I said, how how would you feel about another deal in the future? And like, you know, we'll talk in the future. And she dipped. So. Yes. Fuck yeah, I want another deal with Keto. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was epic. The fucking fleet, the 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 deep vault, the uh, the elves. Uh, so much crazy shit. Super awesome. Yep. Really, really pretty insane. 
I hope we hope we utilized a lot of your world and didn't leave too much, um, like yeah, it's just a good amount. We, you, you know, I hope you didn't make too many things that didn't get used for that waste of time. More thing, you know. Most stuff. Yep. Awesome. Right. Well, there's there's some stuff with the uh, with the 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 others the the choir that mm. never came to light just because of the paths you went down. That's yeah. okay. Oh my god, it's so crazy to think about, like, okay, you take, like, an RPG, Skyrim or something, and you 100% that game. Just think if we 100%ed a D&D campaign. Man, is that even possible? No, I know, but, like, <laughs> you, you build a setting, and you fill it with stuff. Just keep making things up. Well, no, that's what I mean, you don't make anything up, you just, you hardline it until, and they go, hey, you've done it all. You have to wait 50 years for the world to change and have new quests. See, like... I feel like that would actually not be very interesting because there are so many things that I think of yeah. after the fact yes. that are, like, really good. Yeah, absolutely. And I, yeah. Like, I never go into any campaign knowing what the ending's going to be. Yeah, that's cool. Never. Not even close. Yeah. Like, Do you have basically a... the only thought I had in this campaign was, like, at the start, Tara's, like, storm thing, as I know the storm will exist. I'm going to do something with that. Cool. Nice. I and, like, also... I'm going to do something with some kind of race. I made up the entire, like, civilization and the angel and stuff. Um, and, well, no, I did have kind of a loose idea for that uh, the, the aim. Um, but, yeah, that's I didn't... I definitely didn't expect you to straight up fight it at the end. Fuck yeah! Or even necessarily go over there. <laughs> but, so, yeah, you made this big fucking entity that... Maybe could fight, maybe shouldn't, you know. Yeah. That's awesome. Was it fully statted? Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. That... Yeah, yeah, it had a whole bunch of mechanics behind it. I, If we had more time, it would have been really fun to, like, yeah, it, its whole thing was, so it, its parry was 22. Um, Holy fuck. Until, and it, it could parry ranged weapons, too, and it had a minus being hit so it was really more like 26 yeah um and its whole thing was until it got hurt its pair was super high and then once you have it hurt it's not like perfect anymore so it oh, okay. it, it, it drops a bunch okay That's um, good but then mechanic. i mean taurus circumvented it from with the uh with the banishment yeah um at, at and four then with the weak point the weak point was the thing where like you could fire that and you could ignore all of its other defense and just hit that. If you're aiming at that? Yeah. Okay. And then if if the destruction shard happened before it died, it would have gotten uh like corrupted. Oh. And a bunch of its defenses would it would its defenses would way lower, but it would do more damage. Yeah, berserk. Yeah. They'd go into berserk mode. Mm hmm Oh man. See ah uh, that's why I that's I could I would not at all have minded one more one more like session, one more half session. Well I mean we probably would have had that happen, but Tara killed it. But uh, so. Tara killed it, yep. yep. <laughs> it was like, uh, yeah, that, I mean, that's that. Yep. That, that works. Totally. It was, a, it was a good way to end it. it was a Ma good the main that. thing that I was going for with that encounter was the ascent of all the different groups trying to, like, rat race up the pyramid to grab the thing. Oh, yeah. That totally reminds me of so many things like that, where there's... Yep. Yeah, like Indiana Jones is one, uh, or the intro scene to a Mortal Kombat game where they're all racing up a pyramid, literally. Yep, yep, that kind of thing. That was also an idea I had in mind at the beginning. Like, I want the ending of this to be just like a culmination of a bunch of like characters from the, the game the, you, you kind yeah. of encountered to just be like, all going for a thing and trying to like backstab or like fight each other on the way. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> all right, I better go before so I, I can you. like actually wake up in the morning. And I, I hear you. Uh, so, awesome uh, game. Thank you very much. I yep. uh, can't wait for the next one. I was super happy that Tara's big story was this one because my characters have taken over like big main plot lines in the last few games. <laughs> Like, not, like, taken over, but, like, Elpert's ran that one because of his edge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, 
Corbin is it wasn't the big one, but it was a big one in it with the god. Yeah, and all also that. Anya is definitely the big one. Uh, yeah, that was. Oh. Yeah, uh, and then the fucking the morpher stuff. I don't know. I just I don't I, like I love I love my big storylines, but I feel like I don't want to take like all the focus of the plot. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I, I mean, want to make sure that other people have that stuff too. Yeah, I think I think this game was fairly balanced yeah. with that. I feel like if anything you you kind of like Mr. Dibbs and, and Luca were like yep. I was the aware. least included in that, which is That's fine. Probably yeah. the the thing that that was the thing that I could have done better. Yeah. I I think it was it, like you said, it was it was really balanced and um uh, I I that that stuff kinda got made up for more flavor anyway. So the way it ended was fine with me. I like it. That's what matters. Yeah, and like I said, I'm I'm, uh, I'm just happy when other people have those big ass stories too, because I've had I've yeah, had I've had fun mine. to experience. Yep, I've had mine and I enjoy them a lot. So <laughs> awesome. All right, go get some sleep. Bye. Later. <laughs> All right, how do I do this? remember how to go the right direction. Close things, disconnect from things, reactivate things, uh, talk screen, uh, there's my camera, there's my camera, activate. Blammo, there we are. Hey, tuna man, holy shit, holy shit. Thank you, everybody. Wow, that was an amazing campaign. That is the end. I'm almost in tears just because those campaigns are super, super fun to play. Uh, all the characters always get these really good bonds and stories, and it's just so awesome. The 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 it's like a year and a half. It's a year and a half of 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 a story that we all make together and live through, and you know, random decisions and plot lines that form all this stuff at the end. It's so fun. It is absolutely my most favorite game in the world. And I love my group. I love my DM. It's so fucking great. I can't wait for the next one. And thank you all. Thank anybody for hanging out here and watching, listening, lurking, uh, bogging me down with fucking alerts and stuff that I gotta try and listen through. When, I, when the DM's giving me important stuff. That's my own fault for making so many sound alerts and things and then doing a D&D &D game. Never mind that shit. Here comes Mungo! Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Tuna. But, uh, yeah, butter. Uh, awesome. So happy that uh, anyone would want to hang out and watch this stuff. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the Pirates of Pangola. I absolutely know I had a fantastic time. Uh, next Thursday will be uh, Session Zero, which is basically just character creation and uh, character, like, society development and stuff, kind of seeing who's what and where we fit in and what our roles were and all that kind of shit. And, uh, it's going to be a big kingdom of orcs and everything like that, so it'll be fun. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to be uh, reprising a old character of mine. Uh, his name is Thok, T-H-O-K-K. -K. Uh, he is going to be Thok Sr. Uh, the other one was a half-orc, uh, and I'm going to be playing his dad. So that'll be fun. <laughs> uh, He's going to be a, uh, a strength-based, uh, basically a gladiator, uh, basically a pro. I mean, I mean, I mean, a professional you know wrestler. what I mean, you know what I say, you know what I mean, me, you know what I mean. I'm so mean, I had a dream of beating myself up. Broke my nose, I broke my hand, I wrestled myself to the ground, and then I choked myself to death and broke the choke and woke up. <laughs> awesome. Uh, where was I? Damn it. <laughs> All 
Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, he's going to be a healer, strength, monster, WB wrestler style gladiator. It'll be fun. So, I hope everyone... Hey, Casual! Good to see ya. How you doing, buddy? Did you uh, catch any of, the, any of the campaign? It is the end. We... We are at the end of the end of the road. A year and a half campaign. Hey, Dubba! Hey, Dubba! Hey, Dubba! What's Chibata with you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little make a little alert when you pop up in chat. Cool. Oh man! Did you see? Uh, I like how you're looking down. So that's perfect. You're looking down at me because I'm. Oh hey, what's up? You're. Uh, Ah, is Tunis looking down? I don't think so. No, he's looking straight ahead. <laughs> awesome. That'll work. Cut little bits here and there. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Thank you for popping in here and there. That's very, very kind of you, casual sir. Go check out the Casual Elephant, smashing the new world game. All these guys, all these awesome, awesome streamers that are that are around here, that are lurking and jerking in my chat. Tuna guitar, such a magical music man. He's a magical tuna guitar man. He's beautiful. He sings, plays guitar. He has friends that come in and play guitar with him. It's just a just a trip. Go there and check him out. Casual Elephant. He's amazing. He does awesome stuff with programming, and the games he plays are very fun. They're uh, uh, My Summer Car and uh, Ice Road Truckers, something like that. Snow Runner? Yeah. Very 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 fun. Uh, chillax games where you can just hang out and bullshit and chat. Awesome place, very good vibes, plus he's got amazing uh, alerts and just cool, cool shit all over his stream. Very fun stuff. Uh, now, where was I? Ah, yes, the raid. We are raiding. We are soon to be raiding. Now, I don't know who at the moment. I need to go take a look at who is up and about. I need to take a look in a book. It's Reading Rainbow. It's goddamn reading rainbow. Oh, Big Blue D. I have not seen a Big Blue D in a while. I see Wonderless is also there. Wonderless is who I was going to uh, raid earlier. But I don't know if I want to go give Big Blue D some love. Or, oh, oh, Krusty. Krusty is also. Is also streaming. Damn it! Damn it! I have too many friends. I don't know who to raid. I hate it. I wish I could raid everyone. There's the raid, and there's the host. I could do so many things. All right, let's see. Hmm. This will be fun. I'm going to set up this, and it's going to be watching myself. Oh yes, it will. 